It's great to have every single one of you back here, my friends. We are taking a classic cocktail and making a slightly more modern drink with it. We are going to make a raspberry gin and tonic. Now the original gin and tonic has been around since the days of colonialism and the advent of quinine to fight malaria. Now quinine does come from the cinchoa tree and it is incredibly bitter. And how do you make that taste good? Well, you add sugar, some lime or lemon and a crap ton of gin because that's the only way the colonials would drink it. So that give us the drink and the template that we have today. But we're gonna use some local raspberries. Because I've got a berry farm nearby, I went and I picked some just specifically for this to have lots of fun with. Before we get started making the cocktail, let's talk a little bit about the ingredients. Now the first thing I have here is Dylan's Dry Gin. Now this is a London Dry Gin style. However, it does have more slightly citrus notes to it. The next thing we're going to use is a one-to-one -one simple syrup, meaning it's one part water, one part sugar. The next thing you're going to use is tonic water of your choice. In this case, I'm using Fever Tree Premium Indian Tonic Water that has the slight taste of quinine and bitter Mexican oranges. And the last thing we're going to use is fresh local raspberries. I'm going to build this, but I need to use two specific glasses for it because I'm going to build it in two parts for you. Simple and easy. So we're gonna grab three or four raspberries. In this case, I'm going to use four. And you're gonna change that up depending on the size of your berries. Next, we're gonna grab your jigger and we need one ounce of simple syrup that works up to 30 milliliters. After that, you're going to grab your gin of choice. In this case, I'm using my Dylan's gin. Now, you can choose whatever gin you want, something that's a bit more floral, not so floral, totally up to you and we're gonna use two ounces or 60 milliliters. Now you're wondering, David, why are you doing that? Well, the reason is I'm going to now muddle this gently and I'm going to allow the simple syrup and the gin to draw the color and the flavor of the raspberries out. Now this is a lot more delicate maybe than some ways and you could infuse your own gin or you could even make a raspberry simple syrup whatever is most appropriate and most fun for you to do um totally up to you but we're going to grab our second glass now and we're going to add some ice we're going to fill this about halfway leaving a little bit of room for a couple of raspberries as garnish and i'll throw maybe three of these in here just just to make them look good okay i've got four we're gonna add just a little bit more ice just to sort of fill the glass up. And now we are going to grab your tonic water of choice. In this case, my Fever Tree tonic water. And this actually has bitter orange notes to it. So the orange is going to complement the raspberry very, very nicely. So what we'll do is we will tilt our glass slightly and we're going to pour in four ounces or 120 milliliters. And if you pour it in gently, you'll keep all of the effervescence and bubbles. Look at that. Very nice. Now, the next thing we're going to do is take our already saturated raspberry gin, and we're going to slowly pour it over top, fine straining this to keep out the little bits of strawberry and raspberry chunks. Look at that. Very, very nice. Now, Give this a little bit of a stir just to mix everything. And it's just a gentle stir. We're just incorporating everything to uh, get all of those flavors throughout the entire drink. Throw a raspberry on top like so <laughs> after you chase it across your bar and give it a taste. That's, oh, that's really good. You taste the tonic water you get those hints of raspberry. It's just sweet enough, but it's not over sweet. It actually balances well with this specific type of tonic water. If you don't like the bitterness from tonic water, you could use something like a club soda, a seltzer water, totally whatever you want, but it wouldn't be a tonic at that point. Oh yeah. Mm. What I will do is I will put the ingredients and a method of how to make this down in the description down below. If you think that I should change any of the ingredients, please leave a comment as well because I really want your feedback. And if this is your first time on my channel, please hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell notification. That way, every time we put up a new video, you will be notified. And if you'd like to help support the channel, please check us out at patreon.com forward slash booze on the rocks because every little bit helps us to bring these videos to you. You have 
a great afternoon. How was that? <clears throat> Good. Even like me chasing the berry across? Gave everybody malaria, you know, that mosquito. Anyways, you go and find a medicine which comes from the uh, Chincoa. Chin. Chin. Sinchoa. The Sin. The Sinchoa bark. The Sinchoa. The bark of the Sinchoa. <laughs> Stop. <tree. laughs>